What's going on guys? As you would have seen in the last video, I got bogged. Didn't get too much done, but um, it's been a couple days, so it's actually finally, it stopped raining. The grass is still overly wet, so I can't drive out there, or I'll just be bogged again, but hey, we gotta get this diff in. This big boy diff. Nice and tight. Now, I'll show you what um, the LSD, factory torsion LSD, what it does when it's fogged. So park brakes on. Let's jump under here. I already got the car jacked up. Now, you'll see that the, the wheels do not move. Park brakes on. Here's the diff. Look at how much movement I've got in that diff. And that's actually not the pinion and ring gear backlash. That's that's the LSD. That's a torsion worth worm drive LSD that is flogged. And you would believe that is an absolute pain in the butt to drive along with. You always gotta keep your foot on the throttle just a little bit to keep it torqued up. Or it makes a hell of a racket. Plus you'll see that my diff solid mounted. My K frame is solid mounted. So I can hear absolute everything. But let's get this diff taken out. And first off is taking off the Artec Performance Titanium Exhaust. And that's a branch off resonator if everyone, anyone wants to anyone's asking about it it literally just holds pressure and sound waves it's pretty much all it is but get the exhaust off get the drive shaft out or tail shaft whatever you want to call it and then we'll work on dropping the diff i am very fortunate that my whole exhaust is is a v-band so I don't have to worry too much about it. Nice, quick and simple to get this off. And then it's V-band again up at the um, down pot. Two V-bands and a couple of, let's see, three, yeah, three rollers. And the whole exhaust comes off. Nice and easy. Only thing about titanium, it can crack really easily, really easily. So you gotta watch it. And this this exhaust has cracked in it <laughs> in the past too. Exhaust is off. Now this is just a heat plate for the old style exhaust system. I don't know why. Why I keep it on? Probably because I don't lose it. These are just 10 mil. Nothing really special. So I don't lose any. And that is a three and a half inch Powerhouse Racing 
the single piece towel shaft. Cool. And next up, I'm gonna get up there and undo them bolts. Oh, they're nuts. Oh no, no, they're, uh, they're nuts. No, they're bolts. They're definitely bolts. Undo them bolts. Come back here and undo these ones. And then we'll move on to the axles. Undo these. They're a hex bolt. And then we can undo the big suckers here. And drop this old diff down. It's an AOTB diff. It's a 200mm. Got the drive shaft out. It's pretty going pretty good. My dog is stirring up the back door neighbor's dog. He's a little shit. The donut, it's it's still looking pretty good. I think. Yeah, it's got these little pinch cuts. But that's still pretty much brand new. And it should be pretty much brand new. I only got it about a year ago. But yes, these donuts, they'll hold a thousand horsepower. Well, mine has anyway. I don't know about really deep, deep drag launches, but uh, no, they do hold up. And now we're taking off the right hand axle, which, yeah, they'll be a little bit tight. A little bit tight and full of oil. Interesting. Pooey. Yeah, that's all oil. Yeah, that's a bit weird. Right. Carry on. And I'll get back to you, these are tight. <laughs> Got a couple out of that right side and they're all covered in oil. The left side, it's all nice and dry. So I'd say there's a CV problem. But it really looks like gear oil. It doesn't look like just watered up grease. I'll have to look into that and find out what's going on there. But these aren't too bad. And dry again, so right hand side's got an issue on the CV. Left hand side seems to be fine. These CVs do click on the outer, outer CVs down there, but I don't really care about that. <laughs> anyway, I'll get these axles fully unfastened and then we'll get back to, uh, well, we just got to drop the diff then. There's three bolts in the back and these two on the front. And we can drop it down and we can have a look at this diff. I got a weird feeling they're 20. Nope, they're like a 19. Well, these. Oh, they're 21, so. 19 mil. Yeah. Yeah, 19 mil. Okay. These suckers here. The ears, they're 19 mil. And these rear ones, you see them? They are a 12 mil. Hex. So, uh, 
gotta get them out. And you'll see that I've welded in plates. So they're all solid mounted. I'll tell you what, that was, a, that was a job and a half to do back in the day. And the welds, welds aren't too bad either. Now anyway, I'll get this down, get it loose, and um, we'll have a look at it. There's oil all over this. I don't think it's a seat. Oh, I think that's roughly where the balance point is. Sort of vague, remember when you pull the diff out. Well, these diffs anyway, they're a bit heavier in the front. I like to lean forward. There's that stupid drum. Oh, these back bolts, I tell you what, they were tight. They were super tight. Might be putting pressure on that. Sorry, wait. Where'd that go? Oh, bugger. I'll find it after. Right, I'll probably need two hands for this one, so I'll oh, set these down there. Oh, I don't even know what you're looking at. So, yeah, good enough. I've already listened to these. down and see if I got the balance point right. Probably not. Oh, that's right. Might be a little heavy in the eyes. Yeah, it's gonna have to go. There we go. Down nice and slow. Oh. Look at that, nice and balanced. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder why that 
a little hole inside of there. It's a bit odd. But maybe that CV is buggered, who knows. Oh well. Anyway, I gotta I gotta transfer over these solid bushes onto the new diff. Uh, Alright guys, so here's the two diffs side by side. If anyone that doesn't know, that's your small diff, auto AO2B, 200mm ring gear. And that's a BA3V, that's your 6 speed diff. It's got a 220mm ring gear, it's like an 8.8 .8 pretty much. 8.7, much bigger in comparison as you can see, much heavier. And left hand side is actually, it's out a bit further than this one. Which, um, they do come with a specified axle for the big diff. But between the AO2B and the BO3B left hand axle, it's only 4 mil. Which people have said you can't run a axle for this onto this. You can. I've done it for years. There's plenty of movement, plenty of play. You can actually have it. And the uh, right hand side axles, they're exactly the same. Same length. So, and these built, they came out pretty easy. They all just whacked the crap out of them with a the hammer. So, I'll put clean these up. And just to make it a little bit easier to put them in, I'll stick them in the freezer. And they should shrink ever so slightly for me to put them in. And I'm just gonna stick this diff in I'm off camera, get it done because it's getting pretty late in the day. And I don't want to be doing this tonight when it's really cold. So I'm gonna clean them up, put them in the freezer, get them back in the diff. And get this diff up into the car. Um, the axles and CVs. The left one's pretty good. The right one, something wrong with that. Uh, it's leaking oil. I don't know how it's got oil in there. It should... Who knows? But anyway, I've got a spare set of axles. Uh, I might actually put them in tomorrow. And uh, the axles that are in the car can just be my spares in case I break one. So I'll get back to you once this is all in, and probably once I got the axes in all, maybe get back to you when to get get that diff in, and then we can uh, we can go onto the axles and start pulling them out, which is a process of their own. But all right, guys, I'll get back to you very shortly. All right, guys, sorry about it. Put it all back together, pretty much off camera. Oh, I am grubby as hell. It got pretty like quick, but. Then you diffs in, tail shafts in, exhaust. All Sorry guys, out. oh the battery on this thing's been playing up, I don't know why, but yeah, it has all the sand. I didn't swap the axles out, so um, they can just shit themselves whenever they want. I don't care. There is a bit of slop in them. Uh, who cares? <laughs> I've got enough more axles there, I can change it later on. And, <clears throat> Remember how I showed you at the start of the video of how sloppy the backlash was in the old diff? And that wasn't from pinion or anything, but this one, I can't even move it. Jesus Christ. So, no more backlash, that'd be a hell of a bit of a drive. And um, yeah, exhaust's on, everything's on. I can now lower the car. Tomorrow's my last day off, so maybe we will see if we can get the car out the front yard and take it for a spin um that's also permitting if the yard can take it and i don't get bogged again and before i forget just let you just know the torque specs for this thing so you'll see your front your what do you call them your front earlobes your diff mounts they what are they? They they're 108 foot pounds of torque. These rare ones they're they're about 105. If you can see them, that's 105. Your axle bolts, them suckers there, they're about 61, 61 foot pounds. 
and then your bolts on your prop shaft or tower shaft or whatever you want to really well call it or whatever they're about 58 I talked them on to 61 because it's not much of a difference between these and that I am pushing a bit more power who knows if that'll help but I just put them at 61 anyway and that goes for the front ones as well they're at 61 um, yeah anyway I'm gonna drop this super down on the ground and cool tonight it's gotten pretty late so we'll drop the sucker down I'm forgetting something there it needs a terrible bath it needs a wash big pump that's the old diff and it's yeah it's pretty sloppy in there so you know going on down You can definitely tell as soon as you let off the clutch there's it's instant engagement so that thing there with the clutch off and it was like a free just back rush is nuts. I really wonder where that oil came from but I'm guessing it's that CV. Anyway, I'll um big diffs in. Needs a bath like crazy. And uh yeah, I'll see you in the next one or um well, if you're lucky enough, you won't take this for a drive tomorrow and give it a bath too. Alright guys, thanks for watching, subscribing, putting up with my bullshit and give us a like, comment and yeah, give us a chat because I don't mind talking to you. Playing it on the scale, it's a never ending project. Alright guys, peace. Alright guys, so I couldn't end it off there, let's, the diff's in now, let's take it for a drive and um, see, how, see how it goes. We're a little cold, <laughs> but this diff will knock. The other sky can LC is a bit tight, needs to be worn in.
driving while I'm driving it. Now we're doing really good. I'll get into a little uh, secluded area and see if I can get into just do simple little lockups around tight corners. Alright, hey, we're in an empty lot. We'll do some tight turning under, under power. And we'll see if we can get this diff to do a little lockup thing. And of course it's gonna lock up for now, but it might wear in, who knows. Thanks for watching. Uh, give a like, give a comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Sorry it's taking so long to do this. But rain, getting bogged, can you get the sick? But uh, anyway, totally, catch you later.